In this video, I'll show you how to navigate the setup menu of the Quest Temp Heat Stress Monitor, as well as how to start and stop a run. So first, I'm going to turn on the instrument. You'll see a display of the battery voltage. So it says 9.4 volts, plenty of battery. Note that the sensors need to be given 10 minutes to stabilize to the current environment after being placed in the work area. I'm gonna to navigate to the setup menu. And here you can change things like the temperature units. You can change the language. You can change the time and date, the logging rate. So I'm gonna change my logging rate to one minute. Here you can change back and forth between heat index or humidex. And then you can adjust the wind speed setting. And here you can choose which stay time index to use. I'm going to use ACGIH for this run. So those are the different setup parameters. Now I'm going to go back to the main menu and to start and stop a run first, I have to navigate to the view screen and then I'm going to press the run stop button to start a run. And now that I've pressed that button, you'll see an asterisk in the bottom right corner. That means that it's now logging data. So now I can use my up and down arrows to navigate through the different data values. Here's my WBGT values for both the indoor and outdoor. And then these are my state times. The ability to display state times directly on the instrument is available for the QT36 and QT46 models. To stop a run, press the run stop button. And then now I'm going to shut off the unit. So first, press and hold the enter button for three seconds to get back to the main menu screen. And now press and hold the enter button for three more seconds and the unit will turn off. 